One of the most important things to ornamental plant growers is iron nutrition. Now, I explained earlier that, uh, that chlorophyll is basically magnesium in the middle surrounded by nitrogens and carbons and hydrogen. There is no iron in chlorophyll, but plants need iron to make chlorophyll. And so what will often happen is that if a plant is not getting enough iron, it will get what we call iron chlorosis or yellowing in the new leaves. That is what is going on in this plant right here. Lack of iron in a plant is almost never the result of lack of iron in the soil. Most soils have plenty of iron. I believe iron is like the third or fourth most abundant element in the Earth's crust. We generally have plenty of iron, but iron can be made unavailable by a number of things. Those things include high soil pH, high phosphorus in the soil, high manganese in the soil, low aeration in the soil, and low oxygen. Again, if my finger is a root, the root cap would be my fingernail here. Most iron absorption takes place just behind the root cap. Plants need to have new roots in order to take up iron, and they need decent levels of oxygen in the soil in order to take up available forms of iron. Therefore, if a plant is in compacted soil, or is overly wet, or is overly compacted and anaerobic, the plant can't take in iron in available forms. Additionally, plants need to have relatively new root growth in order to be able to absorb iron. A lot of times, if you take a plant like this, and if you were to dig a hole and plant it in the ground, it would green right up. The reason it greens right up is it has fresh air around the roots and fresh room and space to grow new roots. Those new roots are able to take up iron and absorb it and grow. Now, in order to get this plant greened up, what we would need to do is dry this plant out a little bit get some air into the soil, and maybe get some iron to it. Now I mentioned that plants are able to absorb foliar nutrition. They can take in nutrients through their leaves, but this plant, Escenanthus, which is called the lipstick plant, because notice the flower, it looks sort of like a lipstick. This plant has a very thick, leathery, succulent leaf. Just look how thick that leaf is. That's very thick for a plant. These types of leaves are not good at absorbing foliar nutrition because they're so thick. Plants with nice, soft, tender leaves, like impatiens and, uh, you know, these ornamental uh, soybeans here and things like that um, do a lot better at absorbing foliar nutrients through a soft, thin leaf like this, as opposed to a thick, leathery leaf like this. So foliar iron is not going to work very well on a plant like this. My treatment for this plant, my recommendation would be to apply a little bit of iron as a drench or top dress maybe with a little bit of fungicide and then dry the plant out and get some air back into the soil. These plants are a little bit overly wet. They're, they're quite heavy when I try to pick them up for as light as they should be. And most of this weight that I'm picking up here is just water. Water is very heavy stuff. Water weighs 62.4 pounds per cubic foot. So it doesn't take all that much water to be real heavy. A gallon of water weighs 8.33 pounds. You can't carry too many bottles of water before you start, uh, start to tire out. So the point here is that we need to get iron and air back into the soil on this plant in order to get it to green up. It's not able to make adequate chlorophyll in these new leaves, hence all of this new foliage is what we call chlorotic or yellow. It's not coloring up properly because the iron is not adequately available to it.